Hello everybody, my name is Arkana and today we will be talking about the most popular Jutsu inside the Naruto franchise, the Shadow Clone Jutsu. And what would happen if you had the Shadow Clone Jutsu? Now the Shadow Clone Jutsu allows someone to make an exact replica of themselves by splitting their chakra evenly. So you know, if there's two, then you split it in half. If there's four, you did it in quarters. You get the point of what I mean. The most important thing that you should know about the Shadow Clone Jutsu, however, is that the Shadow Clone Jutsu allows someone to make these clones, which maintains small links between one another and by doing such you would have the knowledge and experience that a clone got depending on whatever it is you're doing that you could actually extrapolate from and you would be able to also as we see in one of the boruto naruto the movie showcasings see what your clones are doing and have a link between them in fact this is why naruto needs to take a bunch of energy supplements because he's linked with all of them and they're all giving him information and that's strenuous already the thing is though like i said since the shadow clone jutsu allows you to learn things that the clone did as they dispel and get the knowledge and information along with taking in all that possible information as they're awake this would allow you to speed up a lot of things like just training and the things like that. Now, the point I wanted to make with the Shadow Clone Jutsu video and essentially get it out here is saying that although the Shadow Clone Jutsu is technically complex and it would be very strenuous, you would not be able to make the same amount of clones that Naruto does. But I would say you make more than Kakashi because Kakashi's sort of in this weird limbo where he has to really limit the amount of stuff he does unless it's the war arc and he spam shit you would essentially be able to two times possibly four times i'd say if you're really lucky and have a really good stamina because some people just do five times your work output and what you could possibly do which would allow you to learn skills faster it would allow you to work more and it would allow you to do whatever it is you do best as much as you can and then more than that so what do i mean by this imagine that you are someone who makes a shadow clone this shadow clone is the person that you're gonna have work now here's the issue i will say if you're someone who doesn't really like working as is then the shadow clone probably won't want to work either so you do need to build that up but if you have a neutral stance on working and you make them go and do some work while you relax now you get work done and you can relax if you all are doing work, you get two times as much work done. Now, I would say that that doesn't seem like a lot, but this could really fuck with somebody. You could be able to do what you want while also getting what you need done, or you could do what you need done so much more efficient. I personally would want the Shadow Clone Jutsu solely so I could do something like that. So imagine this, if you have the whole, oh, I'm tired of working two jobs thing. Well, now you don't really have to be nearly as tired. You would have mental fatigue, sure, but you wouldn't need to be nearly as tired because one can work one job, the other one can work another job. And if they're all low risk, maniacal jobs, sure, you might not be getting a lot of pay, but you could easily just use that in order to build up a bunch of wealth so you can retire quickly. Another the thing is skills you want to learn how to draw now you got multiple clones learning how to draw learning color theory learning how to put things to paper there you go you want to learn how to write you want to learn how to fight you can do that really really efficiently and because of that I think that the Shadow Clone Jutsu is literally just one of those things it's what you make of it if you want to be smart you could use it easily to double work and double learn skills and just be a threat to anybody who messes with you. And in terms of self-defense, you could learn how to fight really well. And even with that, if someone runs up on you and you bring four shadow clones and y'all just start beating the shit out the person, you'll never have to really worry about someone unless they have like a weapon. And even then you could shadow clone and make some of your shadow clones end up dying instead of you, which would suck. And you would definitely feel that and remember that. But hey, you are alive for another day. With that being said, my name is Arcana and I am out.